I'm Daniel Zangel with PRP Labs here with Don Lipscomb. And we've got one more video for you today. We're talking about platelet-rich plasma in uh, a microneedling procedure that has been compared to platelet, or microneedling with vitamin C yeah. to treat acne scars. Mm -hmm. uh, so microneedling is when a special pen, they're often called uh, microneedling pens. It basically is a bunch of small needles you rub it on the patient's face, it makes a whole bunch of tiny superficial wounds, and, uh, and then that's an opportunity to apply vitamin C, which is a, a typical treatment that's done um, for acne scars, and then this study compares that to sort of, sort of new treatment, uh, which uses PRP instead. Mm -hmm. uh, Don, can you tell us a bit more about the study? Absolutely. Um, so there were 30 patients and all of them were treated using the split face method. So mm -hmm. microneedling occurred on both sides of the face. However, the right side um, received this topical solution of PRP and then the left side received a topical solution of vitamin C. Right. And so it was just straight up just comparing one side of the face to the other, which right. I guess is pretty much the most direct method that you could maybe go with. Yeah, I mean... Because it's comparing one method to another. Yeah, and they do a good job. I, I like the strategy they use in, in these dermatology studies where a lot of times it's mm. like they take photos before and after, yeah. and then they have a blinded dermatologist assess the photos, and it's mm -hmm. like, that's, I feel like that's pretty well controlled, right? The I think so. The dermatologist doesn't know which side got which. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, luckily this study actually did do a, a blood count um, and platelet count, um, and then photograph the patient's faces prior to any treatment. Mm -hmm. So PRP was prepared um, by drawing blood from the patient and then mixing it with um, an anticoagulant that we've heard about many times, um, yeah. ACD, which is also what they use in uh, blood banks to store right. plasma right. and prevent it from clotting. Citrate dextrose solution, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and also I, I, I wanna go over the PRP preparation yeah. procedure a little bit. They, they don't mention any type of commercial kit that they use. It seems like maybe they're just using a standard test tube sort of vacutainer. Um, and they started with a 10 milliliter blood draw uh, and they did two centrifugations, mm -hmm. which is good. They did the double spin process, which as we know is more effective. They end up with about two milliliters of PRP and they hypothesize that it's uh, roughly four and a half times platelet concentrate, which would be true if they're 100% effective at recovering platelets. I suspect it's a little lower than that. But with that plus minus, then even even at levels I think of four x, it yeah. still has a therapeutic effect. Absolutely, so and and we've seen studies where even with platelet, platelet concentrations that are yeah like <laughs> half that you know so there's still a lot going on. But yeah, it seems like they, they at least made an earnest attempt at producing PRP and did a pretty good job of outlining their procedures. I think so, and additionally, so they added calcium uh, gluconate mm -hmm. as an activator. Right. So whatever platelets are in there, they're gonna be activated beforehand mm -hmm. and begin this high high concentration uh, growth factor secretion right. on, on, the, on the skin, basically. So right. it's not left up to the body's own devices, basically, to activate these platelets. Yeah, and this is common. You'll see this almost every time with a microneedling procedure where they're applying PRP, they'll, they'll activate the PRP, either mm -hmm. with calcium glutinate or more commonly calcium citrate and that turns the PRP into platelet rich fibrin as it's often called PRF which is a gelatinous PRP mm -hmm. for topical application. Yeah, so they can smear it around. It's a lot easier than having a just kind of a liquid solution that's just going to drip off your face. <laughs> yeah, not very effective. No. Um, so the patients received uh, a total of four treatments and this was in four week intervals. Like I said, right side of the face, microneedling PRP, left side of the face, vitamin C and microneedling. Right. Um, and photographs were compared uh, uh, before, before all the treatments and then at the very end. Right. Um, so, and final data showed that uh, PRP outperformed vitamin C in right. combination with microneedling. Um, 27 uh, out of the, original, of the original 30 patients actually completed the study. Okay. Um, so five patients treated with PRP showed a really significant improvement um, in these scars. And so I think that for these scars, they grade it by, um, they have a grade scale. Right. And basically, so, you know, if you have one to four, then even to go at one grade mm -hmm. is, means that it's improved. But these patients went up two grades. Okay. After just four treatments. Right. Um, versus, in vitamin C, which only two patients showed um, 
a two grade improvement. Okay, so twice as many in the PRP Twice group. as many, yeah. But most importantly, um, 10 patients actually that were treated with the vitamin C solution uh, had um, a poor response. Right. As opposed to only six with the PRP treatment. Okay. So, so better outcomes, less negative results. Mm -hmm. and, and were these results statistically significant or is it more just kind of like leaning one way or the other? Um, I, I can't remember what the exact Yeah, math it didn't seem like it was a huge sample size to begin with. But no, but. Encouraging. Yeah, and also like, so really high concentrations of vitamin C. Vitamin C is um, um, ascorbic acid. And so right. basically that, that really high concentrations, it's like giving yourself a chemical peel. Right. So it could have, depending on how sensitive your skin is, yeah. it might be a little bit harsh of a treatment. Right, right. Um, and so why why did this sort of work? I right, mean it, yeah, it, like why would PRP it, help? It, it performed a little bit better, right. basically. And all pa almost all patients um, had improvements, right. though, at least one grade. Right, So in both groups. In both groups. Right, right. Yeah. So the vitamin C works, we know that. Yes. And the, and the PRP works, it just seems to work better. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, I mean, this kind of makes sense, too, because so PRP contains the high plate... Um, high concentrations of platelets. Mm. Platelets contain the growth factors um, that uh, are required for uh, restructuring of the extracellular matrix, right. uh, migration of new cells, and proliferation of cells. Right. And also has been shown uh, to be to be effective in producing collagen. Right. By stimulating fibroblasts. Absolutely, and that would make sense if you're talking about acne scars, these sort exactly. of divots in the skin. Collagen could help kind of level things out. Exactly, and so vitamin C, on the other hand, has been shown to be, a, it's a nutrient and an enzyme, basically, required, required for your body to function. However, um, it, it's just a nutrient. It's not like bringing in more soldiers. You're just kind of like feeding the soldiers that are already there. Right, right. And um, high concentrations of it have been shown to help stimulate collagen production, but it kind of stops there. You're not getting that new cell production and um, all the other various growth factors and anti-inflammatory markers and, right. every, and cell signaling molecules that right. you're getting with a dose of PRP. Right, absolutely. Yeah, so it reminds me of when we're talking about PRP versus hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. in some of these other videos we've done. And it's, again, hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring thing in our body and it can help. But PRP, the reason it's so amazing in, in many of these applications is it's a, a biological therapy exactly. that's really doing a lot more than just getting one type of nutrient to a mm -hmm. region. Exactly. All right. Might be interesting to see PRP with vitamin C. Maybe we will see that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Don, as always. Uh, I think we're going to be wrapping up today. So thanks for staying in tuned, everybody. And hopefully next week we'll have some more videos coming your way.